Alrighty, so when, something I've experienced a lot is adults or professional people or artists, you know, artists of all levels, um, pretty much unwilling to show or talk about when they've been wrong, or people, people, when um, when they're wrong, they, they just don't like to admit it or talk about it. So in, my, in the variety of, in, a variety of different videos um, I've made. I talk about how I'm doing things wrong and really it cracks me up because we all want to believe that we're great and you know we've we've nailed it every single time and it's you know <laughs> we don't we just don't as people as basic people as human beings we don't we get a lot of shit wrong a lot a lot a lot of stuff wrong and when I was growing up I was brought up with adults who never admitted to being wrong about anything, absolutely anything. And that went from family to teachers. And so in, in my videos, I talk a lot about how, how I do things wrong. And it's not because I enjoy putting myself down or that I believe that I'm so bad, I need to put myself down because I don't. I actually have a pretty good, solid, you know, ego about my work and an understanding of my work. But there are times when things go horribly wrong and I think it's a good teaching tool to say, this is how I screwed up. Now, let's, um, let me show you how I screwed up so maybe you don't make the same mistake. And that's all it is. Let's, let me explain to you how I've done it wrong and then how I got myself out of it so that you hopefully don't make, make the same mistake or if you get stuck, you can find a way to correct it. That's all it is. It's a teaching tool or a helpful tool or a mentoring tool or whatever you want to call it. Now, one of the tools I've talked about in many, many videos is using a mirror. Just, this is really dirty. You can tell I've used it a lot, but I didn't use it in this. Instead, I've been using my iPad and videotaping myself for myself to see where I'm going wrong. And this has continued to be wrong. And this has continued to drive me up a tree for weeks on end. And uh, I finally finished eight paintings for this one particular project I'm working on. And this is the last, this is the last one. And it has been driving me up a tree because I think, oh my God, you did it, you did it. And then I look at it again a little while later and I'm like, nope, no, something's been really, really, really wrong. It is not just the colors uh, or putting in different colors that could uh, work better. I don't know. You'll have to excuse me. I'm very tired. My cat meowed all last night at me because he wanted to go out at like three in the morning and I haven't showered in four days. So kind of tired, kind of icky, very smelly. So uh, once again, my brain isn't working and it doesn't work right anyway. It's, it doesn't do this particularly well. But I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. She's a mess, she was a mess. And then last night when I was standing across the room for the millionth time and moving it around my house, trying to see what I'd done wrong, I went, oh, wait a minute, mirror, mirror. So I pulled out the mirror, did this, and ready? This, I hope this is something that can help you. I had this section of her face, I ignore all the notes, the color notes I made. Um, let's, just, let's just talk about the basic structure. I swore it was spot on and I swore it was just the coloring that was wrong and, and, and I couldn't quite figure out what to use for shadowing, for light. White wasn't working, uh, 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 radiant blue wasn't working, like nothing was working. This was the major problem that I was trying to compensate for. I had her face, this side of her face, out to here, a good half inch wider than it should have been. And I only saw it because I pulled out the mirror and I went, oh dude, no wonder. Her eyes, this eye was up here and this eye was down here. And although I've seen it in real life, I know people whose eyes are really, and mine are too, just a little off. The eye sockets are off. This was way off and not 
Um, I don't want to use, well, in real life, uh, people do have eye socks, sockets that are off as an excuse. I want to get it correct. Now I tried leveling out the eyes a little bit more. I've got a ways to go, but this was the primary issue. Her hair was out to here, a good inch out further than it should have been. But the left side of her cheek was out, out to here. And then this one was incorrect as well. I tried lining it up with the um, reference material better last night, my little, my little uh, Mira, and she had like the thickest neck you've ever seen. So today I'm going to be doing a lot more of this. I've taken it, I'm going to be placing it in my, uh, in my easel at an angle so I can look at it that way and see it more correctly. So I'm, so, I'm super happy because this is the last one and I want this project done. It's taken me weeks and weeks to get through. Um, I, I'm a little embarrassed by how long it's taken, but I also know that I paint pretty quickly. So um, although it's taken weeks, it's nine paintings. N no, Kitty, use the other door. Oh, my cat's driving me up a tree. Anyway, today that's what I'm gonna be doing is realigning her eyes. They are solidly incorrect. I've been wiping down her face I wiped down her face for about a half hour last night trying to get some of the paint off so we can once again uh, start once again. I have literally had her sideways, upside down, thinking, yeah, we got it. We got the structure right. It's not right. So if you don't learn anything else from my little videos, learn to get a mirror. Just learn to take a mirror and look and to do it often when you're painting, when you're doing figure painting. I've been figure painting since, or figure drawing and figure painting since I was 14 years old and also studying the figure since be, way before then. But still, mistakes happen. And so this is, the, this, this is one of the best tools to see. Is it really correct? I also found that her arm is tucked in too far. Her shoulder isn't out quite enough and it was way too high. So I'm just redoing, I'm redoing all, <coughs> excuse me, I'm reconfiguring all of her stuff, all of the basic structure of the painting. The ref, rest of it, I, I'm good with. I even like the greens. She's a mermaid. She shouldn't be Caucasian white. She lives underwater. So we've got greens, teals, and blues. A couple of people have said, ooh, you know, these greens and teals and blues make people look dead. They're mermaids, they live underwater. They're not laying on the beach all the time getting tans, you know? So anyway, that's my thingamabob. It's embarrassing. I was wrong about the structure and I wanna show you how not to be, how to help yourself rather, how to help yourself get righter or to see the issue. All right, I'm gonna go shower and then we'll see what today brings. Uh, what I will do in the end, when this one is finished, I'm going to be bringing out all nine paintings that I've been working on and we'll do a little show and tell. Okay. All right. Ciao. Ciao. Boink.